What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3. Now this is gonna be using basically the easiest method that's available right now. So if you're having issues with the previous methods that I posted to my channel, then you should definitely try this out. The awesome thing about this is it's really, really simple and it works on Mac and Windows. It also works on Linux if you're running Linux. So you will need a computer for this for sure. Now, if you already are jailbroken, you should definitely check out my top 100 free tweaks uh, video that I just posted yesterday. And if you also have questions about the jailbreak, I actually did a jailbreak troubleshooting video that you can check out right here as well. I'll put links in the description below for easy access. Also, if you guys wanna hack Pokemon Go, you can do so by clicking one of these links. I'll put links in the description for those as well. So let's go ahead and get into the process. This is really simple. All you wanna do is download two things. One of those being Impactor. So this is actually an application created by Sorik, which is the creator of Cydia. So you know that is a reliable application and I've used it twice already and it's worked flawlessly. So we're going to download this and you're going to do that from the official Pangu website. So if you just click on download and help. I'll put a link to basically this page right here as well as direct links to what you need to download. So what you wanna download here is first of all the IPA. So that's what this download link is and that's what this is right here on my desktop. And then you wanna download Impactor, which is the application that Sorik created. So if you click on this link, it's going to take you to this page and you're going to select what OS you're running. So you can use it on Mac, Windows, or Linux 32-bit or 64-bit. So I'm gonna be showing you guys on Mac OS. You can obviously do this on the other uh, operating systems as well. But now at this point, all you wanna do after you've installed the application and you have your IPA right here, you just want to launch Impactor. And it's gonna look just like this. So then what you wanna do is plug in your device. So make sure your device is plugged into your computer and it should see your device right here. So you'll notice because it'll say, you know, whatever your name is, iPhone. So you don't have to worry about this drop down menu. Don't worry about it at all. Just as long as you have City Impactor open and you have your phone selected right here, you're good to go. So now at this point, I'll show you that I am on iOS 9.3.3 on this device. And we'll go into general about 9.3.3. You can see that I'm not jailbroken. I don't have any type of Cydia or anything on there. So now what we want to do is just literally drag our IPA file on top of this application. Let go of it and you'll get a little warning here. Basically saying Apple developer warning. This action will revoke and replace any existing Apple developer certificate associated with your account, which may or may not have some complicated effect on your workflow if you are an actual Apple developer. So I'm not an Apple developer, so I'm not gonna worry about it. If you are an Apple developer, it's possible this could give you some type of issue, but really even Sorik doesn't know if it does or not. It's just a warning basically saying there's a possibility that it could do something. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and click OK, and then what we wanna do is sign into our iTunes account or iCloud or your Apple ID. So I'm gonna do that right here. and then just type in your password. And what that does is basically create a preference file for this jailbreak. So you're probably going to get this little pop-up right here and we're just going to click allow. And then it's basically going to sign that IPA for us and then install it on our device as you can see right there happening on my phone. So now at this point, we have it installed. So we're gonna tap on it and then we're going to tap on OK to allow notifications. And then what we wanna do is just press Start. And it's the same method as previously, so now what we wanna do is lock our phone. So here you can see that it says jailbreak has already succeeded, but still needs a few minutes to install Cydia and Respring. So just make sure that you leave your device alone. You don't mess with it at all. Don't, don't try to unlock it. Don't turn it off. Just let it install Cydia and it's going to respring just like that. All right, so it's now resprung. So we can swipe to unlock. And then if we swipe over here, you can see Cydia has been installed. So at this point, if we tap on it, it should just completely load right up just like that. Easy as pie. So guys, it's really as simple as that. Now, if you guys are having issues with trying to unjailbreak your device, 
then you should probably just back up your device and then restore it back to iOS 9.3.3 using iTunes. It's really simple to do. All you wanna do is put your device into DFU mode, which you would basically hold the power button, hold the home button, and you would hold that until the screen goes black. And once the screen's black, you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. So we're gonna continue holding down the home button here, and this should put us into DFU mode. And you'll notice that you get into DFU mode when your iTunes icon starts bouncing. You can see iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this phone to be used with iTunes. So what we wanna do here is click on restore iPhone. So this is gonna be after you have already backed up your device. So once you just click restore iPhone, it should restore your iPhone to stock and then you can try the jailbreaking process again. And if it's stock, then it should work every time. So that's just a little tip for you guys that are having issues with Cydia not opening or the jailbreak not working properly or you trying to unjailbreak. This is basically how you do it and that's how you're going to want to do it. Again, if you're having separate issues with jailbreaking, be sure to check out my troubleshooting guide right here as well as if you already are jailbroken, be sure to check out my tweaks right here. If you wanna know how to hack Pokemon, be sure to check that out as well. Of course, if you have any issues, be sure to let me know in the comments below and I will help you guys out as soon as possible. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys get jailbroken as soon as possible. If you guys wanna stay up to date with everything Apple as well as everything tech, jailbreak, Pokemon Go hacks, and all kinds of good stuff, be sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.